This is Chelsea Market tonight. It looks more like a ghost town with no foot traffic and most of the lights off. Hotspots like Budokan and Tao tell me the boost they currently get from Google staff is scant. And that loss of business lasting for the next year is a big blow. Google, the first major company to extend the work from home timeline due to the coronavirus, telling their 200,000 employees they can stay home until next summer if they want. Just north of Google offices in Manhattan, BBH Solutions, headquartered in the heart of Flatiron, telling their 70 plus employees the same. Stay home. We're set up just right for it. Let's see how this all, you know, shakes out. We got schools thinking about reopening soon. The summer's coming to an end. We're operating just fine. Uh, no need to put people in harm's way. Lane Frank is the director of Optimized Communications for the IT services company, considered an essential company as they manage some of the technology for Northwell Health during the pandemic. Look, I've been commuting in now the city for almost 25 years. That all came to a stop. My last day in the city was the 13th of March, and I've been in the city twice uh, since then, and I've adjusted very well to the, the home office environment. Do I want to be in the city? Do I want to be around people? Yes. But the state at home option seems to be a sobering reality of the pandemic's potential staying power. I think New York is a very resilient place. Having a home office base in New York City, having your business there, I think says something about you and your company. And being in sales in a year from now, do you think you're going to shake someone's hands when they come into your flat iron office? I think the whole handshaking thing is gone. It's all about this now and the, and the elbows. It's, right. it's wild.